So Jack Daugherty, or I think that's how you say his last name, wrecked his McLaren. This is a few hundred thousand dollar car. All due to him to mess around with his phone while driving. I don't know if he was texting or just checking his uh, Facebook profile, whatever. Perfect example of why you don't text and drive or mess around with your phone. Pay attention to the road. I'm going to play this. I am going to mute the beginning because he is playing music. But uh, after the actual accident, I will turn it back on. The sound. <laughs> okay, like I said, he's got music playing right now. You can see he's looking down, messing with his phone. And uh, wet conditions too, man. So it's like the double whammy. You're messing around on your phone and bad road conditions. Loses control of the vehicle, boom. He's live streaming at the same time as well. We'll get the sound turned on. <clears throat> Fuck, open the door, open the door, open your door. We're locked in here. Holy shit. Oh man, they're trapped. Holy shit. Where's your phone? Oh, I just broke that. Uh, just for the record, both of these guys oh. are okay. Both of these guys are okay. That's the main thing. Vehicles can be replaced. Might as well ask huh? <clears throat> So there was, he, uh, Jack himself, uh, uploaded a, a version of that video, but he left out the part where he was messed around on his phone before he wrecked. Uh, I can't explain how important it is that you pay attention to the road. Stay off that phone. They got lucky. They were okay. They didn't cause harm to anyone else. Everyone's okay. This could have been so bad, though. <laughs> He or his cameraman could have got hurt. They could have got someone else hurt. All due to just want to mess around on the phone. And it's even crazier because the roads are so bad. The roads are so bad right here. You got you got wet road conditions. You're messing around on your phone. All it takes is a second. And everything could have, this could have been a lot worse. Thankfully, they're okay. Thankfully, they are okay. Uh I'm not too familiar with the guy. He streams on kick. He has been permanently banned on kick. Thankfully, I'm surprised it didn't happen sooner because apparently this guy also harasses people in public like nonstop. Uh, I've seen a few clips flying around on uh, Twitter or X, whatever you want to call it. And uh, he'll walk up to people and try to start junk. Then his bodyguard will step in to protect him because... Uh, yeah, that, that's the kind of guy he is. You know, he'll start junk, but then he like hides behind his bodyguard the moment it starts to go a little south. And now, I wouldn't wish this on anyone because he could have been injured, and that's a few thousand dollar car, a few hundred thousand. Uh, I don't know the exact price, but I would imagine that is a, it's a McLaren. Super expensive. Oh, my goodness. It, it still blows my mind that people like this get get famous it, it keeps happening that just dummies like this find their way to the top of content creation through harassing people and hiding behind a bodyguard and then getting in their vehicle like that driving in wet road conditions while checking your facebook profile <clears throat> way too dangerous way too dangerous yeah, but uh, apparently this guy's like, he's on like a downhill slope. Uh, I seen one video of him on the X where he was like tripping out because he said he was the only one working in his friend group. Which is crazy because usually the, the cameraman's putting in a, a good amount of work. You know, he's, he's running around chasing people and uh, getting all the footage and whatnot. But, you know, apparently he felt that he was the only one uh, putting in any work. Uh, I don't know the situation. Like I said, I, I really don't watch the guy outside some clips you find on X because everybody's hating on him currently. Uh, and some of the hate's definitely uh, noteworthy because, uh, I mean, going up and harassing people and then hiding behind your bodyguard, man, it's like it's F-tier behavior. F-tier behavior. And the, like, the main thing that makes me mad about this is it, you know, what, what, whatever happens to him happens to him due to his own mistakes. But when you put other people's lives in danger because uh, you're being an idiot and wanting to text and drive, that's insane. Yeah, it's a shame that the cops couldn't get access to footage like that in time to be able to, like, actually charge this goon. 
or at least side him so that he would have to pay some fines and go to court or whatever. And I'd imagine repairing that vehicle is going to be, uh, that's totaled. You know, I don't think there is any really repairing that. Uh, hopefully, he, hopefully he actually had insurance. <laughs> uh, yeah, like I said, though, man, I'm, I'm just glad that uh, him and his cameraman and no one else was hurt. That's the number one thing. Uh, no matter how you feel about someone, whether you like them or not, you never want to see someone get hurt or uh, worse. Uh, especially like for the innocent people that were just uh, in the area absolutely crazy and as you can see like he was passing people so i mean he he had a little bit of speed on him on the wet road while uh, messing around on his phone <laughs> poor decision making uh me personally uh, like i said i wish he would at least got cited or something for this i don't know uh I know he's, he's in, like, I heard that he was in a, a lawsuit or something like that for uh, harassing people, maybe. Uh, I'd have to do more, more research for I really go to in-depth on that. Uh, you guys can look it up yourself. It's just something I've seen on X. Take X with a grain of salt. <laughs> but, yeah, dude. Yeah. Uh, hopefully my man learns from this. Don't mess around on your phone when you're driving, especially under wet, on wet roads. Use good judgment. Stop harassing people, dude. Now, now that we all know you're okay and stuff, hey, that's a bit of karma. It's catching up to you, big guy. Stop messing with people. Stop harassing people. Stop hiding behind your bodyguard. Just make content. People will respect you a lot more. Uh, to him, man, I, like, like I said, I hope, you, uh, I hope he learns from it. Be a better person. Stay off your dang phone. Drive safely. And uh, glad they're okay. But uh, yeah, karma. It catches you fast. With that said, thank you all for watching. Uh, if you enjoyed the video, make sure to like and subscribe. And I'll catch you in the next one.